All right, my friends, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about 1440p versus 4K. So if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, I've been thinking, I, I was sitting here uh, trying to do the, uh, the uh, 4K benchmarks for the 7900 XTX, and as you can see, you know, I sit pretty close to my 4K OLED, so I'm sitting here, and um, I'm doing these tests, and I'm looking at the stuff, and for some reason, my friends, I just cannot see myself playing at 4K, um, especially in a lot of these games that I that I love. So I like to play a lot of open world games. Um, today's test started with Assassin's Creed Unity, then I jumped on over to Body Cam, I was doing some Body Cam, uh, had some First Descendant in there, had... Uh, uh, Ghost of Tsushima had uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Horizon Forbidden West looks pretty decent at 4K, but when, when I'm looking at these games, guys, they, they just don't have that that feel or that, that look that I've that I've really come to like on 1440p. So let's let's talk about this a little bit. Um, as you know, I've got the, the C2 OLED, uh, 42 inch C2 OLED, and then I have the 39 inch um, LG ultra wide monitor and between the both of these they're both OLED they're both sitting side by side and when I'm playing on my my 39 inch the pixel density um, like it, it looks better it definitely looks better than the 42 inch maybe 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 I need to invest in a 4k monitor eventually and maybe that's something that I'll do because maybe there's just something that I'm missing that I'm not seeing uh, due to the due to the display quality that I already have um, but I will tell you this um, when I am playing 4k on an um, on an Nvidia GPU like a 4080 super and I'm playing uh, 4k and I'm, and I'm utilizing DLSS it does have this I mean all games kind of just have this overall look to them and I don't know man I kind of prefer the way that AMD cards look on the 1440p monitor. I mean, is that weird? Is that weird? Um, <laughs> I uh, there's something there's something weird and funky that happens with especially with Nvidia's colors when I'm playing on the 4K screen. Uh, when when I start to get to a certain level with digital vibrance, it just kind of it it, it doesn't do what. AMD does what AMD does and another way you can look at this is when when you're playing say say you say you're turning off HDR and, and I know a lot of Nvidia guys don't even use HDR they just turn it off and and I get it because personally I would do it too I would just much rather have the SDR with vivid colors or something to to look better but something changed in the way that the AMD cards look when when I'm utilizing um, when I'm utilizing HDR, because I can get in there and I can fine tune the colors a little bit more. I can add a little bit more vibrance to them. Uh, when I'm using HDR, I, I set, I've, I've come to the, I've, I've, I've actually started setting my AMD Radeon color to 125 on the saturation. When I'm using SDR, then that's when I use that at about 150. Um, I've just noticed as, I, as I've been playing around and getting used to, because before getting this monitor, I actually wasn't using HDR a whole lot. Um, I, I did every once in a while, but like recording HDR just wasn't, um, just didn't seem to, just didn't seem to look right. So when I when I got this monitor, um, I started using the uh, the HDR a lot more, and I've actually just been like, you know what, I'm just going to record HDR on both of these, like no matter what, I'm just going to record HDR on both of these. So. I've been recording in HDR. Obviously, I've been recording in 21.9 because I freaking love it and I think that it looks incredible and when you're on your phone, you can just kind of slide it out and, and be able to look at the whole overall image quality. Whereas with, um, you know, where, whereas with just the 16.9, I like the 16.9 still, like I do, but I feel like I get so much more information in, in world data and, you know, just overall immersion on an on a ultra wide screen so i've been really loving that especially at the 1440p range i feel like you can get more bang for your buck 
Um, I feel like the image quality just looks significantly better. I, like I said, I was playing on 4K today. I've been trying to do um, some of these tests and benchmarks for 4K. And to tell you the truth, guys, I would much rather just be on 1440p. But I do, I do give a shout out to Nvidia because using using one of their GPUs at 4K, it's going to at least provide you a crisp enough image to where you're not going to see the imperfections of 4K that are there like when when i'm playing these games at 4k like everything stands out because everything's so crisp so everything stands out you know like all the imperfections the the imperfect textures and and all of that all of that all of that visual quality the degradation that i see moving from 1440p on the same game right over to 4k you can i can instantly see it and i don't i don't like it my friends i don't like it um, I, I would much rather have the 1440p. I would rather use virtual super resolution to to down sample and give me better image quality. But I, I get it. I, I get how I get how most people are kind of drawn to uh, to Nvidia. And you know, the more I play around with this stuff, and the more I think about it, and the more I learn, um, and the more I listen to the community, the more I understand why you guys like 4K so much. So. These are my recommendations going forward. If you, if you're okay with 1440p, I absolutely recommend getting the best AMD GPU that you can afford, and learn to use Virtual Super Resolution. Now you can use Virtual Super Resolution with any of the like FSR levels upscalers because once you once you go to like 4K or whatever, you can use any level of FSR and still get a very good looking image quality. Um, if, if you're trying to do like super high quality ray tracing or anything like the uh, like the path tracing on, on, on any of these games, definitely use super ultra performance. It still looks pretty dang good on a 1440p monitor, probably even significantly better if you're on a 1080p monitor, but you can still use these features and you can still have a playable experience and it can still look very good for you and everything else is just going to be fabulous it's going to be incredible that's like the one thing that that you will have to make some some adjustments and make some sacrifices and hey man that's what pc gaming is all about remember being able to utilize the power that you have on tap to play the games the way you want to play them and if being able to play a game with ray tracing and be able to utilize that um that's that's not a bad thing that is not a bad thing yes you are going to be able to experience that ray tracing and path tracing um at a higher crisper cleaner looking image quality on an nvidia gpu yeah that's that's very true the, this technology was literally designed for specific games to run better on an nvidia card so there's no i mean there's no question about that but then you will be leaving you know other other features on the table if you're gonna if you are a 4k person if you're 4K, if 4K is like, dude, I don't care. I, my nose is up in the air, snobby, like, oh, why would you play at 1440p? I, I, I have to recommend an NVIDIA GPU. I have to. Um, just, just the fact that, you know, DLSS really does work very good at cleaning up that image quality and making it look sharper and crisper. Obviously, if, if 4K is the thing you're going for, then imperfections in like image quality and, and, and like a little bit of fuzziness and stuff like that that is probably going to bug you a lot more um if if 4k is your thing so i definitely i mean don't don't get me wrong amd can do 4k and if the game has fsr 3.1 definitely does a really good job at 4k but at the same time I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel like 4K is kind of a waste of resources, a big waste of resources, unless you are using it to downsample. If you're trying to play at 4K, in my, in my opinion, like I said earlier, you lose too much. I, it, it just brings out all the, it just brings out all the imperfections and I see those and then I dwell on them and I think about them a lot. Whereas, you know, having a lot of power 
to be able to run a game like really high frame rate and then down sample it all the way back down to you know 1440p and still have like you know 80 frames a second 90 frames a second that's acceptable for me like i'm okay with that 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 to me is like okay this this is great now i get a now now it gets to even look better uh whereas you know you're you're starting it like trying to play it at 4k and you're like 40 frames a second so you kick on dlss just to get to 60 frames a second i would much rather have 80 90 frames at down sampled 4k on a 1440p monitor than barely 60 frames at 4k upscaled on a 4k screen that's where i'm sitting guys and that's the the conclusion that i've come to over the last couple of years since i started pc gaming is my money my time my investment my my hardware is better spent utilizing 1440p you might be different you might want 4k you might just be like hey money's no object i just want to be able to play what i want to play on 4k and and you're none the wiser to to the to the differences between the two i'm telling you if if 4k is your if, if 4k is your lover and that's what you love and that's your baby and your everything do not get a 1440p monitor and try down sampling to it because your your heart will be broken like you will be sad you will be sad at how much better that 1440p monitor makes your look it makes your game look and 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 like you'll be broken forever I, I promise you like you will literally be broken so if 4k is your thing and that's what you want keep chasing that 4k rainbow more power to you my friend definitely you know enjoy the experience while you can i i wish the experience was better for you but yeah guys that's that's crazy that's crazy to me so all right guys if you like this content do not forget to like and subscribe hit me up in the comment section let me know how you feel about this let me know if your favorite is 4k or if you love 1440p let me know if you understand what i'm saying if you need any clarity or anything like that i'm definitely willing to to reach out to you on in the in the comment section try to explain you know a little bit more about how i'm feeling about this but i was talking to somebody in the comment section today and yeah we were just kind of going over it and i was trying to explain why 1440p to me is absolutely incredible and I don't see myself trying to game at 4K. So, all right, man. Thank you, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Have fun.